This is Steve Robbins. Welcome to the Get It Done Guys Quick and Dirty Tips to Work Less and Do More. It's not easy being the bottleneck, but when you're the one in the middle of everything, you can still get your own work done and be there for everyone else. It's a new school year at Grandma Cuddle's Daycare Center, and the new year starts with cursive lessons. Yay! Each tyke learns cursive by tracing an adult's handwriting until they can duplicate the letters exactly. One of the tots is transcribing the Gettysburg Address in Lincoln's handwriting. Another, Amelia Earhart's memoirs in Amelia's own scripts. And, of course, the star pupil has been given the handwriting of the Pentagon's chief procurement officer. The penmanship is astonishingly accurate, except for a teensy bit of confusion over the spelling of nuclear versus nuclear. But, overall, Grandma is finding the kiddies' art projects quite useful to her plans. As well as the lessons are going, Grandma still has to review and approve every one of the letters the kids have written before the letter is sent out to, uh, well, whoever it is that Grandma sends them to. Probably the parents. Yes, the parents. I'm sure of it. Unfortunately, Grandma has a very busy schedule. She has lessons to plan, prospective students to interview, discipline committee cases to review, and new machinery to install. And the tots, as they finish their assignments, they line up outside her office, waiting with hopeful smiles on their faces, papers clutched in their innocent little hands, and they wait. And they wait, sometimes for days. This is a familiar story in business. The more important you are, and I'm sure you're very important, the more everyone else gets stuck waiting for you. For them, it's frustrating, and for you, well, I mean, let's be honest, it's kind of fun to be the one whose nap time can cause an entire Fortune 500 company to grind to a halt, but the novelty does wear off fast. You end up spending far too much of your time being sucked into details on far too many other people's agendas. You can reclaim your time while still being the most important person in the room, however. Schedule review time. The tots at Grandma's daycare never know when they'll need to talk to Grandma. After all, learning to do a perfect imitation of Barbara Streisand's handwriting. By the way, did you know that a Barbara Streisand signature can go for hundreds of dollars on eBay? Might take a lot longer than learning the Secretary of Defense's signature. The tots just know that once they're up the learning curve, they're completely stalled until Grandma issues her approval. The solution, though, is simple. Scheduled office hours. But these aren't open office hours, like the ones that your college professor had, where you would meet with them one-on-one, explain what you were having trouble with, and have them laugh at you and ridicule your bloodline. These are office hours specifically designated for giving approvals. Every day between 10.30 a.m. and 11 a.m., and again between 2.30 p.m. and 3 p.m., Grandma is prepared to look over any cursive writing projects and give her approval if they pass muster. She doesn't just spend those hours twiddling her thumbs waiting for people to come in with projects, however— She arranges her schedule so those times are always filled with work that can be easily interrupted, like administrative work or accounting work. Things that can't be easily interrupted, like meetings with parents, employees, or the heads of three-letter organizations, those get scheduled for different times of the day. This scheme gives the best of all worlds. The longest a worker, or a, a student, will ever wait for approval is a couple of hours. And there's no need for a complicated project planning that depends on knowing in advance how long the work will take for a dozen different workers. After all, if little Jesse promises to recreate the authorization signature for the downtown bioweapons lab and it takes longer than expected, you really don't want to have to spend time revising a project plan to coordinate the ripple effects on all of the other kiddies' projects. You can also schedule brainstorm time. You can use scheduled availability for all the different ways that people depend on you. One way that we just saw is for approvals. But sometimes people want to access you because they value your expertise. They might want your opinion on how to best cold call a prospect or whether kidnapped has one or two Ps. You can set aside time where you're available for brainstorming whatever topics are important to the people who work for you. Then, people know that when they need your input, there's a regular time that they can show up to get it. Other office hours you might want to hold include times when you'll be available to help people structure decisions, times when you'll be able to help people scope out projects, and times when you'll tutor someone as needed to help them get up to speed in an area where they need to make progress. Using scheduled interruption time that's designated for certain kinds of interactions can let you stay in the loop with people as needed, but without the requirement that you be able to know in advance when and whether you'll actually be needed. Grandma Cuddles is having a blast approving the handwriting samples as they come in. The kids are really mastering the art of writing cursive, and looking over little Jesse's adorable nuclear access codes, the handwriting is so flawless that someone would think these were actual government papers. And... In fact, someone is driving up to the daycare center in an unmarked black car at this very moment. Be like Grandma Cuddles. When you're in the middle of everything, figure out the kinds of interactions that people want from you. Approvals, brainstorming, decision-making, or reference. Then, schedule office hours daily or weekly or monthly, whatever makes sense for your situation, 
where you'll be available for those kinds of interactions. Go ahead and plan to use that time to do your own work, but arrange to be available and interruptible and in the right frame of mind so that you can be interrupted for the kind of interactions that people need that you've scheduled. This is Steve Robbins. Follow Get It Done Guy on Twitter and Facebook. I run programs to help people have extraordinary lives and extraordinary careers. To find out more, visit steverrobbins.com or join my personal mailing list by texting Get It Done to 33444. And you'll also get a free copy of my secret book chapter on how to build relationships that help you succeed. Work less, do more, and have a great life.